What's going on everyone? Hope all of you are having a great day. So today's video is a little different than the previous ones. Well, maybe not the uh, radio show video, but definitely different than the Everton video. It was supposed to be a video kind of like that. I should turn off my monitor. I don't want to be looking at my screen. So a video like the Everton video, like my World Cup video, like my Salah video. This video was supposed to be like that, but I did delete. Uh, some footage by accident, and you know, I just want to get something out and can't really record some of those again, unfortunately. So, I just decided to do something simple. So, I do want to talk about should Mario Balotelli be called up to the national team? I'm not Italian, but I know Italian people, and I follow a lot of Italian uh, people on Twitter as well. So. I am a big fan of Italian soccer, and I do want to see the best for that country. We all know that they didn't qualify, which is unfortunate for the game, but Sweden deserved to go instead of them. Let's be honest, Ventura, what he uh, led f for that team was a disgrace, and like I was disappointed to see Italy getting knocked out, and there was many non-Italian fans disappointed. I'll show you this clip here I saw in my uh, national... It's a show, a TV show in my country, and these guys aren't even Italian, and they were quite passionate about what happened after that game. All right. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? I, I... What the hell is this senior doing on the bench? He's one of the best Italian players in the world. No, we're going to go with Bellotti, and we're going to go with Benelucci, and we're going to go with some guy who's not good enough. No, my name is Jesse the Body Ventura. I'm going to play a five in the back of Sistamacci, and I'm going to sit there and fail Italian soccer. Jean-Pierre. Jean Piero. Whatever. You know what it is? Failure Ventura. That's what his name is. Jean Piero, the body. Should Mario be called up? Well, he has 14 goals in League 1 this season. And on the BBC, I read that he has the goal every 120 minutes, which is better than almost anyone in League 1, except for, I think, Neymar, Cavani, and Falcao, I'm pretty sure. Which, those, those are all some big names, obviously. So, he is doing quite well. And then he also has 22 goals and 31 matches in all competitions, which is impressive as well. Last season, he had a good season with Nice, so that's two... Well, he's pretty much going to have two consecutive years where he had a good season. So some people were surprised when he wasn't called up, which it's fair to be confused. But there are some reasons why he hasn't been called up, I think. Okay, so why didn't he get called up? Well, the logical thing to look at is compare him to the other strikers that were called up. So Immobile, okay, he deserves to be called up. His season with Lazio is insane. One of the top goal scorers in Europe. Although... He hasn't really done too much for Lazio at the international level, which is it is a big concern for him. But he definitely deserves to be called up just based on club form. But if he doesn't if he doesn't perform for the national team, especially in the qualifiers, I don't know. I don't know if he his future will be with the national team. It's tough because he is a good striker for Lazio. Now Bellotti. He, he is someone I really liked to watch last year. He was really good for Torino, but this year he had an injury and he hasn't really been at his best. So I think Balotelli definitely deserves a call up ahead of him. And then the other guy was Cutrone, who surprisingly has been doing well for Milan, just came out of nowhere. And he isn't like the fanciest strikers. I don't think any of these Italian strikers are like fancy or anything, but they're, they're really good at getting into good positions and getting the goals. Which, you know, that's really important. But if you can't do it on the international stage or at a big stage, then that is concerning. We'll see how. I don't know how much. I don't remember how much time Cotrone got against Argentina, but hopefully he gets more time against England, which I think is. I don't know if this video will be released by the time that game is done. With Cotrone, then the reason he was called up, I think, is because I think they want to have a mix of youth and veteran players in there. Because there's other young players as well, like such as Chiesa, who he, he is a really good player for Fiorentina, but he is also really young. And he did struggle a bit in, in his game against Argentina. He had good work rate, but he really didn't get involved, which maybe that was due to Italy's play, maybe it was due to him not getting involved. It's, it's You could go either way. 
also these matches don't really mean anything so it's probably better to have these younger players getting this experience now so that they can understand what it means to play for the national team because obviously like I said earlier what happened to the national team against Sweden was a disgrace and it has to be known that this can't happen again and yeah like having these young players around players like Buffon, Chiellini although he did get injured it is good to be around those guys and probably another reason is Di Biagio who is the coach for now he's not the uh, he doesn't have the permanent role as the coach as I don't know I think the Italian Federation they don't even have a president yet so it it will be probably someone like, I don't know actually, I know, I've heard a lot of rumors, Ancelotti, Conte, Mancini, Ranieri, all those guys. But I'm pretty sure I saw earlier on Twitter that Mancini was the favorite, which I'm not sure how that would go, but, but speaking of Di Biagio, I think I, in the video I was making about Mario Balotelli that I won't be releasing, I call him Di Biagio, so... I had to re-record that, and then now I'm not going to be using that. <laughs> it is what it is, but he, obviously, like I said, he's not the permanent coach. So why would he make a risk with Balot calling up Balotelli when he would get so many questions about this call-up and so many questions about his character, like more than getting questions why he didn't get called up? It's not something worth the headache, because that can happen, like, media can get a little crazy. I did listen to a podcast called the Calcio Land Podcast, where the host David Amoyal said that uh, in an interview or in a press conference with Di Baggio, or Di, B Di Biagio, I keep messing up his name. Well, what he said was, I'll just include a clip from the Calcio Land Podcast, but I'll link the whole podcast in the description. It was actually quite a good podcast, in my opinion. I do recommend listening to it. I do think Balotelli should be called up. It makes a lot of sense. He's performing well. He seems like he's maturing. He even had like an interview with Telefoot, I think. I'll probably have something on the screen right here or whatever. Like, he thinks he's maturing. He's learning a lot. Ho hopefully he's learning a lot. I like to give him the benefit of the doubt. And he is in his prime years, so you do think maybe he's finally realizing that Oh crap, I don't have much time left in my career. I might have three, four more good years. If I want to be remembered as something, I have to put in more work. I gotta keep my head just keep my head straight. That's what I'm hoping he's thinking, but obviously I'm not his psychologist. I don't know anyone close to Balotelli. Alright, but I'm pretty sure I finished off saying like I don't know anyone close to Balotelli, obviously. Or do I? No, I don't. But yeah, I really hope he does get called up for those European qualifiers, I think, is later this year. I think he can make a difference. Obviously, it really depends on what club he goes to as well, because he's on his last year of his contract with Nice. Will he want to stay? Will he want to move to it back to Italy? I don't know. I know there's rumors that big, big teams do want him, like Italian clubs. Will they go for him? Will they stay away? I think... For some of the clubs, it does make sense for him, but oh, it's really tough. Really, It's a really interesting situation, and if you have any thoughts about the Italian national team, Balotelli, or his future, or anything about Italian football, let me know. I'll read them, and be interesting to read some opinions as well. All right, uh, if you got this far, then I really appreciate you guys watching this, and yeah, have a great day, or night, or whatever time of day it is. All right, take care.